When it comes to daily productivity, one of the most important things to know is what's on your agenda for the day. And there are two types of agenda items. There are events and there are tasks. Events are scheduled and time bound. Think of things like work meetings, appointments, like getting a haircut or a doctor's appointment, dinner plans with friends. If you cancel these things, you need to let people know. And then there are tasks, which are typically not time bound. They're things that are really gonna move the needle if you get them done. Think of writing creating a PowerPoint for work, running simple errands. These are things that at the end of the day, you'll be really happy that you got done and it feels like things are moving along. So in this video, I want to tell you how I integrate events and tasks using Todoist and Fantastical. Both these apps have been around for over 10 years. They're super polished and they're known for their simplicity and their beautiful design. Both these apps have premium versions, but I'm only going to show you features that are free for both of them. Them. So here's how I manage tasks in Todoist. I have an area for work, which are going to have all the different projects I'm working for my, my nine to five job. And then I have life here, which is just different areas of my life. I like bucketing these into home and living, which have sort of all the tasks that are happening at home. Sometimes I'll do like travel things in here as well. I have life admin, I have relationships, I have health and fitness. So things like I do a long meditation every week. I'm doing some marathon planning, scheduling massage, things like that. So I like to put these into areas, content creation which is things like creating videos like these. I have YouTube tasks that I have as projects. I have YouTube admin, which are just additional things I need to get done that relate to the YouTube channel. And then I write a newsletter. So I have different specific articles that I'm writing and I have specific lists of things I need to do to get that article published. And then I also have other lists and Todoist like a grocery list and a wish list and books I want to read, things like that. But those don't really get integrated into my calendar. It's really focusing on these areas, my life tasks, my work tasks, and my content creation tasks. And these are color coded as well. So I like having these color coded. So they show up in my calendar and I know that, okay, brown is for work, green is for personal life tasks, and then this pink color is for content creation. Let me open up Fantastical and show you how simple it is to integrate your tasks and your events. You'll go into settings and you'll want to go into accounts and you'll, you can integrate your to-do list account. You can just press this plus icon and set it up here. And if you don't use Todoist, you can also set up Apple Reminders or Google Tasks as well. But for this video, I'm showing you how I set that up with Todoist. And once you've integrated your to-do list app into Fantastical, all you'll need to do is go into calendars and lists, find the different projects and just check mark them and then they'll show up in your calendar. So this is what my calendar looks like for the week of April 1st. At the top, you can see all the tasks I have scheduled and then I have different events. So I have all my workouts scheduled. I like thinking of my workouts as events that sometimes get moved, but I really try to make sure that I go to those workouts at a specific times, such so I'm kind of regiment on them and I don't miss anything. I do have uh, writing at a coffee shop as something that is a event. And this is sort of like the blurring lines of is it a task? Is it event? But typically I like to have a couple of things that are kind of more rituals. So I'm going to be writing at a coffee shop on Monday mornings. I don't know what I'm going to be writing. I don't know what the task is, but this is something that is a event for me. So right away, you can see I have way too many things to do on Monday. I'm going to film a video along with doing a workout writing in a coffee shop and also going to a run club in the evening. And this does not count for all the stuff I'll, do be, I'll be doing for work. So one of the things right away that we all kind of falter is we put way too many things on our list. So I, what I like about the week view and seeing your events and your tasks together is you can just start moving things around. So research a new bicycle for me, that's not really something that I need to make a priority. I can move that around. Let's put that in Thursday. Dry cleaning stuff, that'll take, you know, that's more of a, a simple errand I can run. Filming a video, I really really want to get done, I have it as a priority one. And that also integrates from Todoist to Fantastical. And I also have it where things that are the highest priority are always at the very top of my list. So I'm looking at that. OK, so I want to film a video. Definitely. Maybe the B-roll is on Tuesday and I'm definitely not going to visit my parents on Monday. Sorry, mom and dad. I just don't have time for that. And this is Easter Monday. So just so I know what the any holidays are, that are coming up. So then I know, okay, Monday looks good. And then I'll do the same thing for Tuesday. And I'll just make sure I don't have too many things on my calendar. And another thing you can do with Fantastical is you can actually sort of do like time blocking or what I like to do is rough scheduling things I'm going to do, like what time I'm going to do them. This is what's called a implementation intention. It's basically when are you going to do the things you want to do? So filming a video, I'm going to look at that and say, okay, 
okay, I'm going to work out. I'll be done with work, you know, around five o'clock or four o'clock. Maybe I can film my video, let's say at 4 p.m. from 4 to 5 p.m. And then I can get ready and go to the run club. And that's sort of how you can simply schedule your day. You can drag these tasks to specific times, which is really nice to know kind of when you're going to be doing them in that day. So this is just a really simple way to integrate events and tasks. I know I struggled finding something that would be able to be compatible with the two different apps I'm using for task management and my calendar events. And I found this to be one of the best ways to integrate them. And all the features I've showed you are completely free. So it definitely doesn't hurt to give this a shot and see if it works for you. If you want to know more about Fantastical and all its features, I'll have a video linked up where I compare Fantastical to Notion Calendar. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourself and I'll see you guys in the next one.